بولے تھے Why was it sent to Muhammad, peace be upon him, as opposed to somebody else? And why at that time? Uh, these are good questions. Let's consider this. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was an Arab living in the desert with no real intellectual background as far as being schooled in anything. He didn't, as I already mentioned, he was illiterate. So this is the perfect one to give the Quran to. Because in later years, it became very evident. Even today, when people investigate what the Quran says, there's no way that a man living at that time and in that place, with his limitations and restrictions, could have made up something like this. The content of the Quran is too amazing to even begin to compare it to what the lifestyle of somebody living then. Without laboratories, microscopes, and uh, telescopes, all the different things that we use today, he didn't have anything like that. And of course, they didn't even have television. <laughs> so, for them to come up with anything like that, it would be too amazing. Even if a lot of people got together and tried to do it, they wouldn't be able to do it. So this is a good example. Another is the character of Muhammad himself. Muhammad, peace be upon him, was well known to everyone as being a Sadiq. The absolute, when he spoke, he said the truth. He never lied. Not once in his life did he tell any lies. Now, nobody can say that. I mean, how many people you know did you